president informed House Speaker Nancy Pelosi in a letter on Friday that he was firing State Department Inspector General Steve Linick. Then today, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo is saying that he was on the one who asked Trump to fire Linick because, quote, Inspector General Linick wasn't performing a function in a way we had tried to get him to which is an interesting thing to say about an inspector general who's supposed to be independent. NBC News first reported Linick was looking into allegations that Pompeo directed a political appointee to run errands for him and his wife. And then Congressman Elliot Engel, chair of the Foreign Affairs Committee, told the Washington Post that the inspector general's office was investigating at my request Trump's phony declaration of an emergency so he could send weapons to Saudi Arabia. This uh, as a way of getting around congressional obstacles. The president today acted like he didn't know why Linick was fired. He said Pompeo told him to get rid of him, so he did. Democrats are not buying it. They've been an open investigation of what they said may be an illegal act of retaliation. Joining me now to talk about this, David Graham, staff writer at The Atlantic, who has a piece out today on this topic titled Trump is attacking the final safeguard against executive abuses. You make the case, David, that the, that the, the IGs are a really important institution, and this is extremely grave what's going on here. What's your case? Yeah, well, we've already seen the erosion of judicial controls and of legislative controls. The administration has stonewalled Congress. They've said Congress doesn't have the right to do things, request documents. They uh, famously obstructed the impeachment investigation. They've also said that the courts cannot uh, adjudicate these things because it's properly Congress's case. So sort of the last line of defense here is the inspectors general or within the executive branch, but make reports to the legislature. And now you see uh, sort of firing with impunity as well leaving pretty much no controls beyond the voter. So what is the I was sort of looking through some of the statutory language here and trying to, like, get right with the law here. What does what the law here say? Like, can you just say, like, I don't like this inspector general because he's investigating stuff that I would like to remain secret. Ergo, I am firing him. Is that, like, does the law let you do that? It's a little bit unclear. You have to under a law uh, sort of an amendment that was passed in 2008. The president has to inf inform Congress within 30 days or, or 30 days prior of the reason. Uh, but that, that doesn't mean that Congress can simply say no and vote it down. It means they have sort of a chance to object and, and raise a fuss. Um, we've seen occasional inspector general firings in the past, but nothing like this. And we don't know whether Congress might respond more aggressively or what that would look like, although the record of uh, Senate Republicans does not uh, imply a lot of action. Yeah, there's like, you know, there was sort of everyone playing to type him. Romney came out with a strong statement, sort of appearing to condemn it. Susan Collins uh, musing about her concern, uh, as Susan Collins is, is wont to do. Um, notably absent, I, I haven't seen any condemnation from Chuck Grassley, who uh, has been a, a sort of his brand in Washington for years has been the kind of defender of inspectors general and of whistleblowers and sort of government accountability. And I know he's looked he's been looked at by sort of people on the left and right who were in that space as a real like defender of that. And he really seems to have completely just abdicated on this. Well, so Grassley did say that the, uh, the president's explanation was insufficient, but he stopped short of any sort of criticism or threatening any sort of action uh, if the administration doesn't offer a fuller explanation. Uh, so you see him kind of pulling a punch there. Uh, this was the, the president uh, t giving his explanation today for why he did this, why he got rid of Linux, which I thought was uh, one of those sort of weirdly honest moments of him. Take a listen. I don't know him. Uh, never heard of him. But they asked me to uh, terminate him. I have the absolute right as president to terminate. Uh, I said, who appointed him? And they said, President Obama. I said, look, I'll terminate him. Uh, I don't know what's going on other than that. But you'd have to ask Mike Pompeo. But they did ask me to do it, and I did it. I have the right to terminate uh, the inspector generals. I mean, it's just amazing. He's saying the state, the, the secretary of state asked me to fire the guy that's investigating, and, and so I did. Right. Well, this is classic. Um, you know, the state law says that the heads of the agencies can't fire the inspectors general. Only the president can. And Trump is saying he's right. armed it out. He's admitting no interest in it, of course. And it's, you know, it's naked partisanship. He knows this is an Obama guy. Uh, that's good enough for him. He's happy to fire them. Yeah, the, 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 the point about the law being that, like, they can't fire them directly for precisely that reason. If you just outsource it so that the guy says to the president, can you fire him for me? The president says, sure, whatever. I don't know who this guy is, but OK. Then you have run around the spirit, if not the letter of the law, which is that you don't want people to have firing power over the people that are going to independently hold them to account. 
Right. And I think the law is written that way with the assumption that a president is going to have different prerogatives than a cabinet secretary who's being investigated. He's going right. to prefer to have a clean administration. But of course, this president doesn't operate <laughs> in that way at all. He welcomes the scandal. That's so true. That's exactly it, right? The idea is that, like, the IG is there and he starts some investigation to some corrupt scandal that the cabinet head has done. And the president's like, okay, great, good for that. You've, I can cauterize this room and, uh, wound and get rid of this person. But of course, that's not the way it works in this administration. David Graham, uh, thank you so much for making some time for us tonight.